less of also on doubt, less of amen. So, yeah. Now, the next thing that we will finish will be that one on appreciative inquiry. This, these are all in your, in your package. Uh, so we have said that appreciative inquiry is what we have uh, used as a process from the very beginning. And we started with, uh, uh, yeah, we started with defining what appreciative inquiry is all about. And um, we said that appreciative inquiry as applied in catechesis and religious education is a particular way of asking questions and envisioning the future that fosters positive relationships and builds on the basic goodness of every person in catechesis and religious education. In so doing, it enhances the church's capacity for collaboration and positive change. Why? Because in the olden times, our traditional problem-solving uh, problem approach would be focus on what is negative. What are our problems? But using this uh, process, the question uh, is changed to what are the potentials that we have? What are the gifts that we have? What are the resources that we have? What are the methodologies that work around here? And what else can we do? So there are benefits that can be uh, gleaned from that. You could base your future plans and strategies on what has worked best on the, in the past and approach the future with confidence. Because you're using something which has been workable in the past, you can use it again and add something new, and then uh, meet it with confidence or implement it with confidence because it has worked well already in your group. You can embrace change and transition periods with positive and consultative and constructive tactics that lead to sustainable organizational improvements. Uh, I think uh, Dr. Divina has uh, mentioned this together with uh, Father Alejo. You could develop better collaboration with your team, that was also mentioned by Dr. Domingo, through reflection on their values and identifying things that work. So we, we do not say that there are that there are no negative things, there are, but we try to focus on what is workable, what has been um, appreciated, uh, what you could do using your resources, limited resources that you have. So most of us have uh, problems with money. We were taught how to manage money and how to be able to rake in money. But um, in our case, there are certain principles and certain values that we cannot negotiate, not negotiable, just because of money. Team meetings could be turned into positive, energized, and future-oriented sessions instead of those that bug in problems and issues of the past. Sometimes people do not go to the meetings because the meetings are riddled with problems, always problems, no money, and then no transportation to go to the to the meeting place and so on and so forth. So we try to change that in the light of the new evangelization and in the light of what we call paradigm shift. So paradigm shift uh, includes a change of attitude <coughs> and a change of uh, looking at things, uh, a change of our ways of thinking. I told you time and again, unless we can change our ways of thinking, we cannot change anything in us. It starts with the brain, that is why the brain is up here. You know? and the rest are down there. If that is what is more important, it should have been here, not there. No? But the brain is there. In the Old Testament, the heart is used for conscience. But if you analyze from the biological point of view, everything is here. In the, no? Sineparate lang, naging romantic ang interpretation natin ng heart. So, uh, you had an exercise wherein you try to discover identify the organizational processes that work well, or discover what uh, is in your group, what is in your diocese, what are the resources that you have. You can also discover things which you did not discover before, like for example, the kindness of your boss or the kindness of uh, your clientele, your people we, you work with. No? And then dream. To dream is to try to look forward with uh, 
optimism and try to find out what else do I like that diocesan catechetical team to be? What else would I, what else am I dreaming it to be? We envision processes that would work well in the future. So, mm, with all the input that we had from day one until yesterday, I think we have been, uh, we're already full, full, full with content, no? With information. But that information has to be translated into action. So that information has to be used uh, has to be used for transformation. How do we do that? That's why we have activities. That is why we have reflection. That is why we have um, uh, how to call this? Yeah, activities and the like. So that to be able to implement our dream, we need to design. We need to plan. Planning and prioritizing processes that would work well. Consider the limitations of your diocese. Consider the time element. Consider the financial capability. Consider the kind of people you have with you. And then what else? The objectives, of course. So, uh, we are moving towards a direction. What do I want the catechetical program to be in the future? After five years, long range plan, eh? after five years, what would I envision the catechetic, the diocesan catechetical program in my diocese to be? Or if you want a short term, uh, every year, yeah, at the end of the year, the catechetical program in the diocese of Calbayog should have achieved what and why. All right. So. Um, Dr. Divine uh, reminded us about the the ways to make objectives. It has to be smart, specific. Come on, measurable, attainable, realistic, realistic, and time bound. time bound. Yeah, so time bound at the end of five years, at the end of one year, at the end of each month. So you can have short term uh, designs or long term planning, right? And destiny or delivery. The destiny and the delivery is what you will do in your respective dioceses. And I think the office is going to follow you up because that is part of the program. How are you doing? What are you doing? And then what are you exchanging with? Because the strengths of one diocese you know, can be the weakness of another diocese. So interaction and exchanging of programs and insights can help in improving your own program. As we said in the parable of the geese, we do not move alone. If you move alone, you will be, in no time, you will be painting uh, already. It has repercussions with the, with the health. So we have to move together and we have to work together. So ito na po yung ano, uh, ibibigay ni Monsi sa atin, yung design. Paano tayo mag-design? Would you like to read some more? Uh, so using the using the guides that you received from uh, Dr. Domingo, then from uh, Mom Divine, and then sino pa yung isa? Si Father Alejo. No? There are several guidelines given to you to achieve your dream. So maybe would you like to get back your dream or you want another dream? <laughs> or I think your dream has been compounded already. After yes. having listened to all those input from different uh, experts, so oh, the bago or na dagdagan pa, the bago ayon na daw yung old dream, ngayon naman new dream. So maybe we can give them another, another ano, uh, oh, uh, uh, after the different input that they have, sir, they would like to add to their dreams, kasi yung dreams nila. Dreams during the beginning of the term, but at the end of the term, expectedly, na enrich yung kanilang dreams. Kaya babalik namin yun. Wala kayong copy, sir. Pero yung other one, you have a copy. All right. So shall we distribute another set? Kasi ito yung old dream po nila. Ngayon, pagkatapos ng lahat ng input, sure yah, kasi ano ko added na, enlightened na, na dagdag na yung dito sa gis na. So Iba na yung output ngayon. <coughs> ikaw na ba or ikaw? 40s. Ano daw? The 40s. Ah, the 40s. Ito na. Maria. And then areas. Peter Salt areas. 
There, I will help you. There, I will help you to distribute. Okay, anyway, let's discuss it. Fairness. Fairness. Okay. Ito na-discuss na yung ito at saka ito. Kaya nga nagkaroon sila ng ito. Pero ngayon, at the end of the term, ito na lang po, kasi sabi ni Father Dex, ito, tapos, ito, kailangan gawin ito. Kailangan gawin ito. So what we will be doing today is the last day of the course, which is the task of destiny, creating the future of our catechetical, well, the original catechetical means, co-creating, because we work as a team. So you are leaders, you have co-leaders, and you have your collaborators in the industry. So while waiting for this, um, we invite you to go back to the to your uh, dreams in uh, your. Makibalikan po yung inyong mga pangarap. Pangarap tungkol na may kinalaman sa inyong ministry. Uh, it is assumed that your heads diba, and leaders of uh, diocesan teams and uh, groups, what do you envision? What do you envision your catechetical program to be in the future? Pag sinabi natin future, sir, one year ba yun or five years from now? Monse? Three. Three years now. Oh, so medium. Medium. Or medium. Medium. So you bring in your for the next three years. Morning, Bishop. Next three years. Yes. Three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. It's important that you share your dreams with your collaborators in the ministry, so that you know, hindi lang kayo yung may dream. So, kaya nga nakalagay, co-constructing the future of our catechetical ministry. So it's not only my dream, but it's our dream for the catechetical ministry. So in that case, we cannot finish the design as a design. Now, yes. Because we have to collaborate with our vendors and other projectors. But I see, I would like to present to you, galing naman kay Monsi, yung four key result areas for our destiny, for our strategic planning. Very important ito, yung apat. And I think the man, uh, more or less, in the 12 days that uh, uh, nandito kayo, meron naman kayo more or less na input dito sa four key result areas. First is, is the philosophy, spirituality, and organizational structure of the catechetical ministry in the diocese. Um, yesterday, you, you discussed uh, financial management, but the day before, you discussed yung personal management, organizational structure, and fundraising and linkages. So, uh, marami naman. Na-cover naman siguro natin ito, more or less. So, philosophy, spirituality, and organizational structure. Si Monsignor Jerry, in his homily this morning, emphasized the need to articulate your spirituality. So it's not only about organizational structure, design, or philosophy, but spirituality is also important. Second is uh, in programs of formation. We have many, but uh, yun nga, um, are there things that we need to improve on in terms of uh, uh, yung basic catechetical formation? Ongoing formation of our catechists? and training for leaders. I so, think, uh, ito po lang yung number one, ha? Ang nakikita ko sa mga dioceses na makikita sana sa mga opisina ay yung 
vision ng diocese at yung vision ng ministry at yung organizational structure. Who's who? So you have the bishop, you have the catechetical director. After that, sino? Who supervises whom? The line of authority. Now, take note, there are two authority. There is there are two staffing. No? There is what we call line and staff. Ang line, nakakapag-desisyon. Ang staff, tumutulo na. Which means, ang secretary, huwag mong ilalagay sa organizational structure. So, after the catechetical director, baba doon, catechetical coordinator. Ang coordinators ay pwedeng hatiin by vicariates, pwede by region, by district. Tapos, under noon, meron bang assistant coordinator. Tapos, meron bang organizational structure, ang vicariate. Ang, ang, ang catechetical vicarial office. Kasi malaki, like Cebu, is big. Yung malalaking dioceses ay Cebu, Cáceres, at Malolos. Ito yung malalaki. Pero yung maliliit na dioceses, pwede na yung obispo, director, coordinator, tapos katikista na. Pero, meron kayong assistant coordinator for formation, assistant coordinator for human resource, assistant coordinator for finance. Pwede yun. Bakit? Mahalagang organizational structure para hindi lahat eh ang coordinator na nagtatrabaho. You devolve functions to other line people. So, organizational structure is important and that is seen in the office so that when the catechist enters, he or she knows who's who in the ministry of catechists. In terms of spirituality, ito naman eh naka-encase yan. Mga core values yan ng ministry. At yan, kinakailang kusutahin ninyo ang obispo kasi siya ang katikis par excellence. Ano ang gusto mong klaseng katikista? Ano ang trabaho nila? Parish-based, school-based, community-based. Okay. Yung programs of formation, nakalagay lang na nalagay ni Dr. Desander ay basic catechetical formation, yan yung sa BCFP na siya hinahawakan naman ng mga catechetical centers. Hinahawakan ng catechetical centers. So, mayroong kong tatawag na BOE. Take note na, may dalawang classing centers. May catechetical centers na nagbibigay ng certificate. Meron din naman catechetical centers na BSE and REB. In other words, Bachelor of Science in Religious Education and Values Ed. Which means, yan ay may connection sa CHED. Sa ACRE yan. Hindi nyo hawak yun. Pero ang hawak ninyo, maaari, ay yung catechetical center ng diocese. So, yung by subsume sa inyong structure o hiwalay. Which means, yung katingan ka director ba doon, ay eh kayo rin, fathers, o iba. Kung iba, ang obispo na dito, tapos kayo dito, yung director dito, ano ang connection niya sa inyo? Para walang tapakan ng paa. You know what I mean? You don't step on another person's responsibility. You respect each other's responsibility. So you can focus. Now, ang sa nakikita ko sa inyo, lalo na sa mga coordinators, ay yung tinatawag na training on supervision of instruction. Yung SUPIN. What does that mean? How do you supervise catechist? Kasi supervision, kung dadalaw kayo sa classroom, supervision yon, Tama? And ano ang quality ng supervision? Pop-in, formal, at clinical. Tatlong klase. Pag pop-in, dadalaw ka lang, ma'am, kumusta? Okay. Upo ka lang doon, two minutes, tapos labas ka na. Pop-in. Pag sinasabing formal, talagang on this day, I will be in your class. I will look into the following. Lesson plan and execution of the plan. Tama? Tapos gagawa ako ng evaluation. Which means, alam niya na darating ka. 
Ngayon, training yun na kailangan ng coordinators. Kasi sometimes the coordinators comes, coordinator comes in, he does not know what he's looking for. Yung ikatlo ay clinical supervision. Sa sampung katikis ng hawak mo, dalawa doon talagang bumabalentong sa pagtuturo. Mahina sa content, mahina sa strategies of methods of teaching. Yun ang iki-clinical supervision mo. Bakit? Iwa one-on-one -on -one mo yun. Kuya, ate, mahina ka sa content, ha? Hindi puro memorize. Yun na tawag. Clinical supervision. I will see you again next month. Which means, tutok ka sa tatlong katikista na alam mong mahinang magduro. Clear? That is what we call, in the bird's eye view, supervision of instruction. Now, you need to create a plan for supervision of instruction. You cannot do supin or supervision of instruction without first drawing it out from the catechist. Kinakailangan yan ay participatory. Gagawa mo na kayo ng template ng supin. After that, i-discuss ninyo para alam nila ang expected sa kanila. Hindi mo sila ginugulan. Yun ay training. Yun ay skill. Supervising instruction is, I feel, the most needed skill of a coordinator. When I say coordinator, meaning the madre or the lay. Kasi ang pare ay administration. Ang pare, ang trabaho niya ay advocacy at linkages. Siya ay nakikipag-usap sa DepEd. Kapag hindi pinapapasok ang katekista during regular school hours, he represents the bishop. Siya ay nakikipag-usap sa presbyterium. Pagkailangan ng fundraise. At sasabihin, itong Sunday na ito, there is a second collection. And all second collections turned over to the treasurer's office who in turn will turn that over to the diocesan catechetical office. Hindi trabaho yun ng coordinator. Ang trabaho ng pare ay makipag-connect sa obispo, sa mga pare, at sa ibang opisina ng diocese. Youth, uh, social action, Bible apostolate, lahat yun. Why? Kasi kilala niya yung mga kapatid din pare na nandoon sa mga opisinang yun. Clear? Yun din ang nag nagsasabi na, Fathers, be very clear. Kapag confession, walang stipend, ha? At huwag pagkahanapin ang katikista ng stipend sa nagpapakumpisal. Unless, of course, meron nang na-discuss ang presbyterium, bibigyan ng 500 ang nagpapakumpisal. Malinaw yon. In other words, trabaho yun ng... At hindi trabaho ng katikista na maghanap ng stipend sa confession. Kasi, in principle, fathers, we know that you do not receive any stipend when you hear confessions. I say that because we've gotten reports of some priests demanding stipend when they hear confession. There's stipend when there is mass, but there is no stipend when you hear confession. Now, <coughs> will, have, will that have to be raised to the level of Presbyterium, College of Consultors, and Presbyteral Council? Sa kanila na yun. Pero ang point ko, isa yun sa mga issues na dapat madiscuss sa bawat diocese. Para walang expectation at wala rin namang side comments kang naririnig. Clear? So, yung ano kasi ang linkages, connection niya sa DepEd, Director yun. Connection niya sa Obispo, si Director yun. Connection sa Presbyterium, sa Diocesan Offices, the Diocesan Commissions, Director yun. And then, yung number four, resource mobilization nilagay ko, yun ang paghahanap ng pera. Maintenance ng office. In other words, ang opisina, may ref, may pagkain, may budget. Bakit? Kapag dumarating ang, ang katikista, maganda na, oy magkape muna kayo. Kasi karamihan ng mga katikista natin ay ball cuts. Okay? Yung malaking lata ng biskotso ng panglamay, <laughs> yun ang hinahanda. Kasi pag marami, handok mo lang eh, o sige, magmerienda kayo. Katikista naman hindi mapili. Tama? Katapat lang nila eh, pag naglalakad sa 
Kung iba't ibang uh, public school, maganda naman na pagpunta mo sa opisina ay malamig at may palamig. At ang unang tatanong yan ay hindi, o oh, kumusta pagtuturo? Hindi, maupo ka muna, hindi kayo magmerienda. Tama? Yes. Opo. Aba, iba iyo. Yun ay people-oriented person. People-oriented person. In other words, ang HR ng katikatikal office ay ang coordinator. Mumingit eh, hindi, hindi masungit ang coordinator. Pag masungit, tapon nyo sa pintana. Kasi siya ay kapatid ng mga katikista. Tama? Yes. Ikaw ay nandito sa opisina, tapos ikaw ay sinusungitan mo kami. Pero karamihan ay mga wall cards. Sabi nga ni St. Vincent de Paul, the poor will not forgive you for the crumbs that you give them if you give them a smile as a sign of your love for them. Which means a smile makes all the difference for every catechist. Right? And why find out? Resource mobilization. Paano maghahanap ng pera? Alam ko kapag ball cuts dito sa NCR, minimum binibigyan 500 pesos. Tama? Bawat load. 100 yun. But you can do that also depending on the capacity of the parish. You can also do a resource mobilization with the better parishes. In other words, meron kayong memorandum of agreement with the cathedral. A certain portion of their income given to the office. Why? Naniwala ako, bawat diocese is kaya eh. Hindi lang talaga nararamdaman ang talagang pangangailangan ng katikesis sa diocese. Pero kung gugustuhin talaga, hindi naman magkukulang. At least, pamasahe at merienda. Tama? Yun lamang pamasahe at merienda. Yun ang ipasok niyo sa resource mobilization. Yun ang gusto kong destiny na lumabas. Na buong Pilipinas, pag ball cut ka, meron kang pamasahe, meron kang pang banana cube. Tama? I don't think that's going to ruin the financial management of the diocese. When there's a will, there's a way. So you get more. Yung linkages, nga pala, please connect with the CEAP schools. Ilagay nyo rin yan sa destiny. Kasi, meron din sila tinatawag na student catechist na tumutulong sa public schools. So, kapag sinabi ng madre, RBN, DC, SPC, o kami na yan, kasi bahagi yan ng aming community extension program. Yes. But sila ang lalagay ng tao. Ilagay nyo rin yun. Bakit? In principle, the Catholic school can adopt one public school. So that, that's less of your back. So then you can focus on far-flung areas where catechesis is not done. If you have these parochial schools, these congregation schools, these Catholic foundation schools, use them. Talk to their heads. The bishop can hold a lunch meeting with the school heads and say, ito ang gusto kong mangyari. Tumulong kayo. Madali yun. Si Bishop Tobias, alam ko, ganun siya. Basta kayo nasa diocese niya, lahat tutulong. Kahit mga congregational schools. Okay ko ba? Maganda mga plano. Questions? So, pakidagdag lang sa programs of formation yung supervision of instruction, yung supin. Pero yun, kinakailangan ng training. Baka ang training nun, dito rin. Dito malakas ang supit. Dito ko na dito ko nag-aaral na din. Any questions? Ang magagawa nila, Dr. Lisander ay yung personal dream mo na, personal dream. Ah, uh, inyo magagawa niyo ngayon at yung mga i-submit niyo sa amin through email. Through email. Actually, uh, doon sa Google Drive, meron ng folder doon where you can upload your outputs. Upload na lang. So doon na lang po lahat ng submission of requirements. Okay.
Yung po, kusan po yung mga files na CCLS Batch 1. May folder doon na pwede kayo mag-submit. Batch 1. CCLS Batch 1. Kusan po nandun yung file ng mga PowerPoint presentation. So, yun na po ang ating venue for interaction during the year. Ito na po. So, kung gusto nyo mag-submit, may folder doon na kung pwede kayo mag-submit. Yung mga ibang PowerPoint presentations, i-upload ko ni Dr. Nati. Doon din. Analyt. So, doon po ang ating manari po. Sa Google Drive. CCLS Patch 1. When is the deadline? Pwedeng June 15. June 15, siguro naman. Medyo matagal na. So, four areas yung na-discuss ni Monsi. You would like to see that in your strategic plan. Your personal dream for the catechetical business of the diocese. So eventually, we will be asking you to communicate naman your personal dreams to your collaborators. Pero dun muna, dun muna tayo sa first phase. Focus first on your personal dream for your catechetical business. So June 15, 5 p.m. <laughs> we will start checking the papers on June 15 at 5.01. Can we have a certain uniform matrix? Uh, matrix. Siguro yung Gantt chart na lang. This one? Yung mga... Ah, hindi po. Yung chart siguro. Um, for example, sa key result area number one. Uh, what are your dreams under that? We charge the matrix. Maybe what we can do is the we will provide you the matrix in the box. Okay, give it back. Okay. Give it back. Okay. 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 Kasi, yan. So, June 15. June 15. 5 p.m. And you will be graded. Monsi will grade you. Ha? Sa mag-grade. Siyempre, kailangan. This is a program. This is a certificate. Catechetical leadership. So, there is a grade. Personal ko ito. Personal. Personal. Individual. We will return your, ano naman, with comments eh. Nalagas din naman namin ang comments. Doon na rin sa... Supi. Supervision of instruction. So that, under pa yan ang programs of formula. May question pa po? Are there other concerns regarding the fourth D? So, nasusundan nyo naman po yung appreciative inquiry, di ba? Because whenever we plan, we always plan 
based from what we think is uh, proper and good, but it is not objective. Unlike if you come up with a research-based uh, plan, then we, can, we will be able to respond to the research. So that is, so that is it's a simple, it's not a very complicated one, but it's a simple research. And we will be basing our plans from the results. Um, so like for instance, uh, getting the profiling of the activities, uh, the analysis, how many classes are being taught. That's within. The, that's your data. That's not coming from father. That's profiling and then that's knowing also the that's not well. Uh -oh. uh, Father, the, the, your office can do that. We can provide for you the questions for profiling. Intra yun eh. Intra yun eh. Intra. What we're doing right now is intra. The KRAs have a presumption that you have a prior research on the profiling of the catechetical ministry of your diocese. Namely, I'll give an example. Uh, graduate studies of the catechetical director. In other words, ano yung specialization niya? Gra graduate studies of the coordinator. Ano natapos niya? Why? Because that is part of what we call professionalization of the leaders. And then you have how many catechists teaching in uh, grade K, Grades one, two, three, four, five. How many how many hours of teaching in the public schools? Alam ko ang tagbilaran and talibot twice a week, right? Twice a week sila. The rest of the country is only once a week for thirty to forty minutes. So isa rin yon. Tatakalin mo rin yon. How many? Okay. Ah, uh, and then profiling of katigis. How many are? BSE and LED graduates. How many are MA? You are profiling. Your... Is that what you want from us? Oh, you, you. you want a, a list of questions in terms of profiling your human resource as well as your capital resource. For capital resource, mag inventario kayo. Ilan ang computer sa diocese at katigatigal office? Ilan ang laptop? Ilan ang LCD? May building pa? May lamesa? Siyempre naman ano. In other words, yun, inventaryo. Yun naman, inventaryo ng capitalization. Pwedeng gawin yun. Pwedeng ipato sa inyo yun. I think what the core group of professors can do, we will sit down. Right? Kasi yun ay pwede namin hingin din sa research ng UST. Kasi ang UST ay may research na on the state of catechetical ministry in the Philippines. But that is so broad. Broad ang mga questions kasi macro. What Father is asking is that is it possible that we the Eche Lasal group provide for you a template on how to do profiling of the catechetical ministry of the diocese, which can help you read the signs of the times in your context. Tama ba? Am I reading you? On your profiling. So, ano mga gusto niyo mga tanong? Halimbawa, number of catechists. Pwede? Number two, uh, educational attainment. Okay, from director down to the uh, volunteer catechists. Number three, age. Age range. Uh, number four, birthday. How many years is it? Age. birthday? Ilan ang pinanganak ng January? Ilan ang pinanganak ng February? Kaya para... How many years? Okay. Marital status. Single. Majority. Married. No one. Widows. Oh, yun. Yung mga ganon. Sige. Pwede yun. We can... Ano pa mga gusto nyo tanong ilagay? Kasi Dr. DeSander will have to... 
Number of years of service. Very good, sister. Livelihood. Okay. Other, if you are a ball cat, what is your means of livelihood? Tama? Sari-sari store, peria, barker, mga ganon. Tama? Kung may peria siya, barker. Ay, 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 pinapila-pila dito. Kung nakatikista. Okay, ano pa? Categorical training. Saan nagtapos? Anong natapos? Ano pa? Uh, certificate o baccalaureate o master's? With units, okay. Kung madre, pati pa madre, lalagay natin? Yes, di ba? Okay, lalagay doon, uh, coordinator, lay or religious. Pag religious, how many years has she been with you? Pwede? Okay, anong natapos ni sister? Okay, anong edad ni sister? May honorarium. May honorarium pa siya. O, gratis et amore pro bono. Pro <laughs> bono. Doon lalabas yun. So, profiling yun, Father. So, gagawa na survey. Ang suggestion ko nga, pag nagawa nyo na yung design, yun, ito, 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 KRA, gagawa rin kayo with the catechist ng kanilang 40s. What do you like what's going on? Yung mga kanilang nga, what do you like what's going on? What do you like to have more of? What do you like to have less of? What is your wish for your director? What is your wish for your coordinator? Very positive yun. Right? What will you do huh, for your director to reach your dream for him? Nag-a-tigas yun? Slowly, I will ask again the questions. Mga AI yan. What do you like what's going on? Anong gusto mong nangyayaring maganda? What do you like what's going on? What do you like to have more of? What do you like to have more of? Number three, what do you like to have less of? <coughs> okay. Number four, what is your dream for the diocese? Tama. Number two, what is your dream for the bishop? <coughs> Number three, what is your dream for the catechetical ministry of the Diocese of Blanc? Tama? Then, what is your dream for your director? Next, what is your dream for your coordinator? What is your dream for your fellow catechist? What is your dream for your parish? Di ba parish priest naman sila lahat? Now, yung activity design dalabas, what will you do? What will you do? What will, what will you do? For your bishop to reach the dream for him. What will you do for your director to reach your dream for him? What will you do for your coordinator to reach your dream for her? Are you getting me? Yes. In other words, yung pinakahuli, share mo. Gusto mo maabot ng coordinator na hindi siya laging tensionada. Ito ang gagawin ko para hindi siya tensionada. Nag-gets nyo? Yes. Everything is positive. That's AI. You will have to engage the catechists into what we call appreciative conversations. And that's a very good start. You highlight the positive. You never talk about negative. Because the positive will solve the negative eventually. That's a principle of appreciative inquiry. Okay, ba? Yes. We'll provide that Dr. Lissander again. The contract, the sample for the contract, for example, the other day, Dr. Divina was talking about the contract. No? Are you the contract? Siguro terms of reference. Oh, oh. For example, you need the template for the also. If possible, for the template of uh, appointment or, or terms of reference. Yeah, like, like appointment. 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 Like appoint
Sister, the contract is only good when there is a management lane for an insurer. Yeah, employee, employer. There needs to be a contract between the diocese and your congregation. Not congregation po, for the diocese, I mean. Uh, With? For example, Monsignor, if, uh, if we are hiring a catechist for the diocese and catechetical ministry, then it's She's going to be salary. Uh, salaried or stipend honorarium or even in case of volunteer, no volunteerism, uh, to, it's good always to have a written form so that uh, just for secure, safety reasons. Yes, but safety reasons, we have to clarify if it is a contract, it's a formal legal document. Yes. Yes. The, 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 the catechist, when his or her rights are violated, can bring you to court. Yes. And since you don't have any legal personality, yes. he or she can simply bring the bishop to court. <laughs> because he or she, uh, because the bishop is corporation soul. Yes. So that's one. So in terms of the lay here who are salaried and full-time, there needs to be a contract. Tama yes. kayo? Okay, that's one. Number two, if it's with the congregation, there needs to be a contract between the congregation and the diocese with regards to the number of sisters to be given as well as the stipends to be given to the sisters by the diocese. Number three, you, you 